the little men in boxing all too often don't get the attention or credit they deserve at times and usually is left to the hardcore fans to truly appreciate the artistry and non-stop action they bring to the sport. On December 16th, that is exactly what we could get with two of the best flyweights going toe to toe as they aim to unify the division. Jesse Bam Rodriguez is a swift angle changing pressure fighter who already defeated two legends in Quadras and Rungvisai, resembling the likes of Lomachenko with his movements and could very well be the next Matrix. While on the other corner, we have the confident, switch hitting and defensive mastery of Sonny Edwards from the UK who will make it a puzzling night for any opponent. This is the best versus the best with two young stars wanting to put their stamp in the sport with a big victory on their record. So on that note, let's take a look at the potential tactics that will be required from both men to win come fight night. You said that this kid was a special talent. You believed he could be a superstar. What did you see tonight? Well, I'll tell you, San Antonio, you've got a superstar on your hands. You know, you know this kid... This is, these kind of fighters only come around once in a generation. Let's start off with Bam Rodriguez. At the age of 23, he's already a two-weight world champion, defeating some big names in convincing fashion, and is looking to take over the flyweight division before taking on greater challenges in the divisions above. Jesse is for me one of the most exciting young stars in the sport and with his use of angles, punch selection and intensity it really reminds me of the likes of Chocolatito, Canizales and Vasyl Lomachenko. But on December 16th, Jesse will have a very different opponent in front of him compared to most so far. A pure outboxer that can counter punch and switch stance seamlessly. Bam himself is a southpaw, which usually helps give him the edge against orthodox fighters, and has so far been able to get that positional outside advantage to either land his 1-2, right lead straight, or right uppercut or hook. And uppercut. But we've also seen him use terrific angle changes versus southpaws in Rungvisai. While Jesse can be quite hard to hit himself and can be unpredictable to read due to his combination of elusive upper body movement, slipping and feints coming into range. And of course, the threat of him changing angles. Well, another factor is he trains under Robert Garcia, whose fighters usually opt to use a high guard pressure style, who look to cut off the ring, trap their opponents on the ropes, and unleash heavy jabs and body punches. And I have to admit, Jesse's actually very useful in this area too, as he's once again continually changing his punch variation on the inside, and will also look to manipulate the guard by occupying it, creating openings to throw his uppercut or hooks round it or to the body. But going into this fight, I do see some areas he can exploit Edwards. I very much suspect Sonny will look to box in the back foot in this fight, utilising his jab from both stances and waiting for Bam to commit before countering him with check hooks or uppercuts. And we're already seeing here in flash. Now I suspect this is what Edwards will want Bam to do by trying to get him frustrated and for him to close the distance and could very well be the case for the first six rounds. So Bam will need to show more patience in this fight using a lot of feints coming into range and targeting the body of Edwards when on the inside. Due to the amount of work Sonny does boxing from the outside, he eventually does start to tire from the mid rounds onwards. Instead, he opts to play possum at times, or his own version of the rope -a looking to stand his ground while blocking shots and fighting on the inside, looking to counter himself with hooks and uppercuts. Now for me, this is the perfect opportunity for Bam to get off his angle changes, as Sonny does stand very square in this position, and this is exactly where he will want him as it will force Sonny to keep moving and not get a chance to catch his breath. However, I actually feel it's worth throwing straight shots as well in this moment, especially to the body, as it is usually counter hooks Edward looks to throw in these positions to get off the ropes. 
Sonny also likes to entertain the crowd from time to time using unnecessary showboating, but for me this is the opportunity to attack him, as he usually loses focus in these brief moments and ends up getting caught himself. Sonny can also leave himself open when throwing these check left hooks, but I feel if he does this from an orthodox stance, Bam will be able to catch him with his own left hand in these positions. From Edwards. Tonight was caught again though by a left hand there. And another one. Yeah. While if Bam also targets the body enough, which he is very good at, Sonny does tend to box with his hands down at times to try to protect the body and can also throw out lacklustre jabs at times only to get countered himself. And for me, it's about interchanging his jabs and straight punches depending what stance he's operating from. The performance, John, but it was just how long he could keep it going for. Few signs now that he's getting caught with the odd shot here and there. Overall, though, I do feel his intense non stop pressure will be required from Jesse, alongside good use of feints coming into range. If he can get off his body shots and force Edwards to continually move, he will eventually start to slow down. And going off previous fights, this is where Jesse can set him up with his angle changes and power punches. As the good old saying goes, attack the body and the head will fall. I think I'm an enigma. I think I'm, I'm a Rubik's Cube tied up with a puzzle and, and a riddle after it. I, I think what I bring to the ring, you can't prepare for. You can't plan for because no one's got my mindset. No one sees life the way I see it, let alone a boxing ring. Well, I'm not suggesting that Edwards is in fact the best fighter from the UK or one of the best in the world. However, I do feel he is perhaps underappreciated even here in Britain. But it is the case for most little men in boxing. At times watching him, it can be quite hard to analyse as he's a fighter who seems to be very present in the ring, always looking to react and move to what his opponent is doing. His style is a brilliant blend of defensive skills, outboxing and counterpunching for the most part. However, we have seen him also willingly look to fight on the inside more recently, showing he is a developing fighter looking to adapt to more scenarios. But what does Sonny need to do to win this fight? Well, as I mentioned before, I suspect Edwards will look to box from the outside and focus on his brilliant evasive manoeuvres to avoid Rodriguez's power shots. Edwards' speed and footwork has been a key asset today and is great at using lots of lateral movement to counter and create angles for himself which, of course, frustrates opponents as they can't seem to get to him. Edwards can also utilise his excellent counterpunching skills to exploit openings and frustrate Rodriguez himself, discouraging his aggressive style to make him rush in and potentially create openings for him. And with Edwards' continuous movement, I suspect it will frustrate Bam at some point and he'll open up when he looks to throw his power jab or left hand. While this continuous movement will also limit Bam's opportunities to use angle changes when the opponent plants their feet, which can prove to be dangerous at times. So he needs to be ready to turn with Bam if he does use these angle changes. I don't try and get in there and take people's heads off. I get in there and give myself a 100% chance to win. I don't, I don't put myself in the positions to land a big shot where I can get caught back. And that's what I think is going to be the biggest task for Bam Tarver. The bigger, the bigger puncher in the fight? Maybe, sure. I think he definitely plants his feet and tries to punch holes in people more. That <laughs> doesn't make it more any likely to win. If anything, I would pick the fighter that gets in the ring for the first round and gets out in the 12th round and barely loses a minute of the second of the fight. Quick counters could also disrupt Rodriguez's forward momentum as Edwards is very good at throwing check hooks before moving laterally. He needs a tactic to jab and move again. In addition, using strategic jabs can also disrupt Rodriguez's rhythm, allowing Edwards to control the distance and set up his own combinations effectively. Personally, I feel Sonny is most dangerous when fighting out of a southpaw stance, but I suspect he will no doubt continually change this up throughout and see where he has the most success. But sometimes he can switch all too often for me and get caught out with unnecessary counters himself as he changes his foot positioning. And I'm sure Bam and his team will have prepared for those moments, so Sonny needs to be careful. 
Overall though, I can see Sonny putting on a brilliant boxing display in the early rounds, frustrating Bam with his jab and counterpunching. Where I worry for him though is in the later rounds, when Bam really puts on the pressure in those moments, as lying in the ropes playing possum could spell trouble for him. And maybe it's best to smother Rodriguez's work in these moments while looking to use sharp counter punches when Bam opens himself up. Personally, I feel the more he boxes from the outside, utilising his jab from both stances and looking to land clean effective counter punches, frustrating Jesse in the process is his best chance of winning in Texas. In my opinion, this fight will no doubt be a high speed technical chess match waiting to unfold. Rodriguez for the weight has power packed punches and a brilliant pressure fighting style and use of angle changes which will test Edwards defensive wizardry and counter punching brilliance. And this is a fight where I could see both men having success in different moments of the fight. Will it come down to Rodriguez's movement, pressure and body work? Or will Edwards' defensive wizardry just be too hard to work out? Let me know your predictions in the comments below. Enjoy the fight when it comes. This has been Jimmy from Boxing Life. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.